Good morning everyone from Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. <laughs> what? <laughs> I really can't believe that I'm here because this time 10 days ago I didn't even know this experience was going to happen. Um, remember on stories I was like uh, a big thing has come in. This is it. This is the big thing. Um, I don't know where to start with this. Yes, it was travel day. We got up really early. I'm going to put some clips over. We got up really early, went down to Heathrow. You look cool. okay, we're on the plane. Look at that. Look at that. Look at The flight was really nice. We were on one of the really new aircrafts, so um, the screens were really big, which was really nice. Um, Pearl played with some of the other children on the trip because there's 15 creators and their plus ones and families on this trip. We checked into this stunning hotel. The lobby was like chef's kiss, amazing. And now we have this room with this incredible view. When we got here last night, there were all sorts of animals just roaming it's quite early so perhaps they're having their breakfasts. So I've been asked to come on this trip and share it on Instagram um, but I really want to share it on here as well just so that I have the memories so when I'm not doing the Instagram things that they've asked of me I'm going to try and get a few little um, YouTube clips. I don't really know how that's going to go, I don't know how I'm going to divide this up but I just thought bring my camera, whip it out. <laughs> hello, hello. Pardon, you want to come out here? Come on then, come on then. Um, yeah, I thought I'd bring my camera, whip it out as and when, see what we get, make the memories. I'm here with Liam, shout hello. Hello. Hello, I'm Pearly, say hello. 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 And Darcy is not on this trip with us. She had a pre-booked trip with her dad. Um, so she is on that having a lovely time. She, but today... She, she's going on the sand and she's going to see sand at the beach. Yeah, she is with her daddy, isn't but she? there's no beaches at this house, is it, there? No, there's no beaches, although... There are some sandy bits for the animals, aren't there? I also wanted to add that I haven't planned the itinerary for this. Um, the Disney team have planned it. So it's not our usual like start at Magic Kingdom and do all the same things we do, um, which I'm quite looking forward to experiencing it in a new way. The whole campaign is actually called How Do You Disney? So you'll be seeing a lot of that on my Instagram and it's around yeah. how everyone just, oh, yeah, she's moving her little Jeep away. It's around how everyone does Disney differently. Um, and I'm excited to do it a slightly different way. We're starting in Epcot today. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to follow the itinerary. It looks incredible. So they've built in a lot of rest time and we are going to take that rest time. Instead of just, um, instead of going round the parks in that free time, I think we're going to come back here and rest because it's very hot. It's going to be like 35 degrees. Pearly is fair um, and she's little so we are probably not going to be super action packed yet. Yeah, there she is, there's Pearly waving. Um, it's probably not going to be super action packed but I think we're going to do some really different things and because we're with the Disney Park team like it's like VIP experiences so um, what time is it? Yeah I've got to go, we're meeting them at quarter past seven. We'll see what we get but also don't forget to check out Instagram because I think the bulk of it will be over there. Okay. Here we are, Epcot, well um, well, I'm excited just looking at the sign. <laughs> so we're all being taken on um, a big coach, which is nice, a whole group. There's Liam and Pearly. I think coming up on the horizon, you're going to see the ball. Yes. There it is. In the comments, tell me what Epcot stands for, and you'll get 99 glitter points. Oh, this isn't even the full shot, but it's so gorgeous. We are following our leaders here. I don't know if we're going to go in that way. I hope we do because I'd like to take a picture, but if not, I'll come back. Where are we going? Some sort of magic side way. We did, we did get a little moment to take a picture. Look at that. She's a beauty. So, this is the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. <laughs> So we were asked not to film on the attraction, so um, I, I didn't film it. No, you, I, I was so glad just to enjoy that. That was incredible. That was like such a lot of fun. 
thrilling. Really smooth though, wasn't it? It didn't feel like yeah, it felt jarring. It was incredible. Yeah, it was like flying through space <laughs> is the best way I can describe it. Like, if you mix together Flight of Passage and Space Mountain and threw in a bit of Guardians of the Galaxy, that's what you've got, isn't it? Well, that was Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I should be <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> I've really smashed it. Anyway, we are walking towards Norway now. Um, pavilion, not the actual country. Quite a long walk that would be. For some breakfast. So we have come to Akashus restaurant. I just checked on the pronunciation. And it's gorgeous. Look at all of that up there. It's all so pretty. And we're going to have a nice breakfast, cool down. What time are we on? It's only six minutes past nine and I already feel glowing. <laughs> What has Daddy got you? Who's <gasps> that? That's an ant. Wow, Daddy has splashed out. <gasps> wow, it's the Elsa costume. Oh, the Elsa. Are you happy with that curly? Yeah, should we put it on? Yeah. There you go then, you're going to put it on just like a headband. <gasps> you look beautiful. Can you step back and do a little twirl? Step back. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's okay because it's the same colours, isn't it? Daddy doing Pearlie's breakfast buffet. That looks so good, Pearlie. Thank you for ready. Ready, set, go! Go, go! Okay, you've got two minutes to complete this challenge. Three snowballs, three cold buttons, and that carrot nose. Come on, Louise. Why are the big smaller ones? Why is it? Why is it? So with Emily and the, the boys over here, shout hello. 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 We are walking around the World Showcase. We're trying to get to Ratatouille. So we're not really stopping off at the pavilions much because we are back here later tonight. Um, but look, this is Italy and it's one of my favorites. I think it's so beautiful. We're gonna try and find the Luca Fountain for Jackson here. Emily's youngest because you look like Luca, don't you? Yeah. I think it's yeah. round here. Um, we'll find it for him. So we just passed by the American Pavilion and in that little um, kiosk there it says funnel cakes. This is a funnel cake and they are delicious. They are like cakey batter. I can't really describe it. If you have had a funnel cake please describe it in the comments. It's like if batter and cake were to get together and make a food baby. That's what it would be. And it's just lovely. Just sort of show you our buggy setup. I've got a fan facing on me. Pearl's got a fan that directs onto her. It's amazing. We're going to wait here in the shade because we're just waiting for Emily's family lamb. So we've got Ash from Mama Reed. Is this your first time with funnel cake? I've never so tried just this before. Tear, what is it? Tear a little bit off. It's like a sweet pastry thing. Mm. Pearly, don't touch the fan, oh please. God. It's quite big. Isn't it's it? hot. Yeah, that's what she said. Me. <laughs> That's such a dirty laugh. Go on, give it a go. Mm. So nice, isn't it? Nice. Do you want to try a little bit? Come try a bit. It's so delicious. So we are in the France or French pavilion now, and we're gonna head to the Ratatouille ride. This is Matt and Mr. Emily Norris. No, Matt. Norris. Ma Matt Norris. <laughs> Are you a big rides fan? Oh yeah, you saw my face this morning, didn't you, on that? He loved it, he was having a great time on Guardians. And powerness went through my fake tan. <laughs> Are you fake tan? No. Yeah. Just natural, yeah. not like me. Popped into a little shop. Pearlie's gonna get some pressed pennies. They're all coming out. 
Did another one come out? So, the last time we saw each other, we were in a shop. It's now about three hours later. We headed out of the parks via Boardwalk. Um, we had some lunch there. We come back to the resort, had a little rest and freshen up. These are the ears that I picked up, and they're going with this. Uh, let me move you over here. Mm, not everyone's a bit messy. Um, with this little dress here, boo, boo, boo. I've got little um, beige shorts on underneath, but I like the spotty, spotty vibe. And we are heading back into Epcot now because it's the Harmonious Lights fireworks show which we've actually never seen because our children are always so tired that we never quite make it to the evening bits but we've planned for this by coming home um Pearl's actually having a nap now we're gonna wake her up at the last minute um and also if she gets tired we have got the push chair so we can lay that flat and she can snooze in there I was debating whether to share on here or not because um you might just be watching just for pure Disney content but if you're interested I'm having a weird day today I feel really homesick which I can't understand why because I've got Liam here I've got Pearl here I know Darcy's happy and well um, so normally when I feel homesick I'm homesick for the people like I used to go on business trips like VidCon and Playlist has anyone been here that long uh, and I used to feel like extremely homesick sick and then since I've been doing more family trips it's not been bad because I've been with them so I don't know if, if it is subconsciously because I'm missing Darcy um, even though I know she's fine like I've texted her today and she texts back um, don't know or if it's just that this is a different sort of experience with new challenges and um, a lot of socialising even though everyone's very nice like I can't it's frustrating me that I can't put my finger on what I'm homesick for but I just feel a bit unsettled, but I don't want to share that with like everyone that's come. And obviously I don't want to be like a moan on an experience of a lifetime. So I'm just like trying to that and be smiley and just enjoy the experiences. But what I would tell you, I don't know if I'll leave this in or not. Um, see how we feel in the edit. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to gently wake Curly Curly up and head Just having home. a little look in the shop in the resort. And I never ever ever go for mugs because I don't drink tea or coffee. And I do drink hot chocolate and I really like this. It just says enjoy and on the other side it's the Mickey logo. It just feels nice. And just imagine making a really nice hot chocolate in that. That's lovely. I like that one a lot. I quite like this one only because Liam and I call each other gorgeous. I know, Vom. It says hello gorgeous. Um, <laughs> tickled me. We're on the bus. Curly's not quite feeling it yet, is she? Just having a little snooze on Daddy. So we're here, and as we're getting off the bus, I kid you not, I saw a rainbow and then a spike of lightning go through it, and I've never seen that in my life. It was amazing. Look at that, the rainbow, that you can see the whole thing. I really hope you can see this on camera because I want it for my memories as much as anything. That with the music and everything. Oh. Sorry, but if that's not Disney magic, I don't know what is. So super stormy over there, and then over here, beautiful sunlight but pouring rain. How wild is that? So we're here for the dessert party. Oh, look at all of these! Look! Mickey waffle, Mickey pies, look at those. Mini caramel apple tarts, and then iridescent churros with glitter. Caramel sauce. Stop this right now. And we're going to just relax in here with all the group. Okay. That's it. Okay. Well done. Good girl. Look at all the lights across the countries of the pavilion. So pretty. Oh, it's so gorgeous.
Good morning to you from a very sunny sunrise at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's Monday today. It's day two, if you don't include travel day as day one. So travel day one, <laughs> yesterday. Oh my god. It's day two of our adventures. I'm here with Pearly. Hello. We're going to swim in. We are. Aren't and we're we? going to bury treasure. Yeah, we are going to Typhoon Lagoon this morning, which is why I've got my swimwear on. So this is the first time that I think I have felt semi okay, confident in swimwear. Um, can you get the whole body in here, please, cameraman? So usually I would wear swimwear with arms or like with a little skirt, a little shorts. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to ever do that again. Uh, but on this trip, I just thought. I just want to feel nice. I want to have my arms out because it's hot. So I bought this swimming costume from Simply Be. Um, and then I bought these beach trousers and they've got pockets um, and they're a bit like floaty, which is nice for like getting the thighs. Um, so it gives a bit of coverage, but you can still see the swimwear through them. But I just think this looks nice. It's got a little like top if I want to. And rather than trying to conceal my size, with like sleeves and frills and shorts and whatever, try to just, I would say to Leo, <laughs> make the big look better rather than try and make the big seem smaller, uh, if that makes any sense. I'm sure I'm not smoking. Um, but this is me, and I hope you're going to maintain this confidence the whole morning. I am not naked, I have a towel, I've just had a really nice shower and Liam and I are going to have a little like date here. <laughs> We've got some food from the Mara, I got a butternut squash soup which I'm quite excited to try, I just really fancied it in this boiling hot weather. Um, and we're just going to relax, I might put a top on or something <laughs> and um, enjoy our lunch. Anyway, I don't know why I've told you all that in a towel. <laughs> So we've had a lovely rest and we are leaving the hotel and we are going to the Magic Kingdom and can you just, I can't cope with the daddy daughter love just now, it's just so cute. I think we're going to meet up with Emily Norris and Matt Norris and her sons and um, we'll probably get the bus over or maybe a taxi, I'm not sure. I will ask Liam to film my outfit but just in case I forget or we get distracted, it's this beautiful rainbow one um, from Livia Burton or Livia... Something like that. It was spenny, but special. Oh my goodness, here we are. Well, we have arrived at a brilliant time. Polly, are you waving?
side of the castle here because so we're going to the Peter Pan area. One of our challenges is that we have to do a picture of Disney bounding. So can you guess what Emily is? She had a purple scarf on. She's one of five, see if you can guess. And, <laughs> and then um, we're going to the Peter Pan wall. I'm hoping it's still there. And we're going to do Wendy, Peter and Tink. But when I tell you it's hot, I don't mean like, oh, I'm warm. I mean like, are, am I at Disney or am I at the centre, the core of the molten earth? Uh, the front of my knees are sweating, but the back, the front. I'm Wendy, Peter Pan. Peter, feathers. Oh my goodness. The wings are annoying, you take them You look beautiful. Cutest. Yeah. Is having some dinner. Liam's going to show the boys a magic trick. Whoa! That's right, two and two. Okay. You're up there, curly pops. <laughs> How beautiful is the Magic Kingdom at dusk? Like, I think it might be my favourite time to be in the Magic Kingdom. Also, you'll be thrilled to know the weather, the temperature has gone down significantly so I can I can cope a bit better now. I'm not like a sweaty mess anymore, which is just so nice. Pearly is living her best life. Pearly, you look so cute. Can't cope. <laughs> so I'm with all my fellow creators at the moment, having like a bit of a like get together. And when I show you the view from where we are standing to watch the fireworks, like <laughs> it's a for a Disney fan, it's a lot. For anyone, it's a lot. But like, ah! we're actually in the top of the train station right now and we've been given ice cream Mickey bars and Diet Cokes and other drinks, but all I care about is the Diet Cokes. Look at that view. Oh my goodness, it's just beautiful. If you look over there, you can see a little bit of um, uh, Futureland. Hang on. Over there. Is it called Futureland? Tomorrow World, Tomorrowland. Wow, lost myself a bit there. And then that view, and then this view. Oh my God. And then the crew are doing some filming over there. And then everyone's just relaxing and having a nice time. Ah, oh, Coco! It's blurry, it's blurry, it's blurry. Why won't you focus? Oh my goodness, please focus. It's about to start. That's all I wanted to tell you. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Yes. So we've come away from Main Street now and we're right up by the castle and we're gonna go into Fantasyland. And we've been set some challenges to do. It's a, a one hour scavenger hunt with clues and puzzle pieces and all that kind of stuff. So um, Pearly is just falling asleep in the buggy actually. It's a bit late for her, so she's falling asleep. We're gonna be such a team on this, aren't we babe? Aren't we babe? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we are racing around Fantasyland finding our clues. I've been putting a lot of them on my stories, so go and check those out. But the next one is at the Wishing Well. We have to drop a coin in and a clue will appear. So I thought I'd put this one for the YouTube video. Liam's going to film this bit. Oh, wow. I'm trailing you. No, no, get away, get away. Perfect. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever physically exerted myself so much, <laughs> which is not hard because I'm basically a human sloth. We have collected six puzzle pieces now. We're over near Dumbo. We're getting the next one. Oh, here we go. We did what do we need to do? Look for a feather. <laughs> My feather is quite the magical feather. Somebody else might have it. Up there. Is it? It's 
found a lady with a feather. Oh my goodness. Never seen a man so happy. Okay. At Louise Pentland. Oh I'm glad it's night time clock. Look how red I am. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You're welcome. Good night. Thank you. Your journey continues, so set sail, you must go under a certain tail, find the girl that wanted more. Ariel, it's Ariel. Ariel. Use your voice and sing a song, pick anyone you can't go wrong. Right, okay, let's get right to Storybook Circus. We have done our puzzle, we were the first ones here. I feel like this might be the proudest moment of my entire life, including the moment I gave birth on the kitchen floor. <sighs> Got a lot of adrenaline in me right now. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you teammate number three, who's been a great help throughout the whole thing. That's a look at her. Oh my goodness, look who's turned up. It's Mickey. Oh, it's actually Ella's birthday today. How special is this? It's a mum and dad. Is this a magical moment for you, Ash? Is this the most magical moment? <laughs> well, that was the most fun. We're heading back now, it's really, really late, and tomorrow we've got a much slower day. I think that I might end this vlog here, because I don't know how long all my vlogs are. I've just been filming here and there, so this might be long, it might be short, um, but I'll end this one and then start afresh in the morning. So we've had two days and a travel day. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.